I, I recognize the president's going to go after me. I'll, I'll go after him. I think what we learned, or at least we're reminded of clearly this week in both the Bain Capital ad and the part of the Obama campaign, and also the suggestion later in the week that Republican operatives were planning to resurface Reverend Wright goes to show that no matter how much we think elections are really about issues, they are at least equally or in fact much more so about perceptions. Bain Capital walked away with a lot of money that they made off of this plan. We view Mitt Romney as a job destroyer. Now these aren't new attacks on Mitt Romney. Remember back earlier this year in the South Carolina primary when they were used to such devastating effect by the super PAC operating on behalf of Newt Gingrich, voters are receptive to this type uh, of attack. And I think particularly in Mitt Romney's case, what makes this so dangerous uh, for him is it speaks directly to his central argument as a candidate, his experience as a leader in Bain Capital in creating jobs and knowing how to run a business from the inside out. When others shied away, Mitt Romney's private sector leadership team stepped in. Now on the question of Jeremiah Wright, it was mentioned this week that Obama somehow got off easy in 2008 by it not having been wielded as a weapon, which I think just isn't actually the case. In an election uh, where he is now the incumbent, the idea that uh, old allegations that surfaced in his election four years ago will somehow supplant uh, the, the picture people have already painted for themselves of him as the president himself uh, is, is, is pretty unlikely. I certainly think we're going to see a lot more attacks on Mitt Romney emanating from and drawn centrally to his experience from Bain Capital. I'm not so sure we're going to see a lot of Reverend Wright resurface. I think we can consider what happened this week uh, in that report of the New York Times uh, to have been more or less a, a trial balloon uh, and it all collapsed within about a matter of 12 hours. I think the resurfacing of uh, the story of Reverend Wright this week serves as a perfect example of this careful line, some would say the very cynical line, that the Republican Party has walked in the last three and a half years. And that is on the one hand to give a nod and a wink to the part of its base that believes uh, at some level very crazy things about the president or is somehow convinced of his fundamental un-Americanness, but on the other hand not sound so extreme uh, that you start to turn off voters in the middle uh, and independents uh, who want to hear both parties uh, speak reasonably and disagree about issues without questioning each other's fundamental character. And that's going to remain the really hard thing, I think, uh, for Mitt Romney to carry through on as he tries to appeal to a wider electorate going into November.